Hi guys, my name is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to change your BIOS settings to boot from a USB device if for some reasons you do not see your USB device in the list of possible boot devices. This is a common problem in the more recent Pavilion series of HP laptops. And of course, you can also face this issue with other laptop brands. So without any further ado, let's get to the process. For this video, I'll be using this HP Pavilion 15. So here I have a bootable USB flash stick with Windows 7 installation files. And what happens is when I connect this USB to the laptop and boot it up, then try to follow the instructions on the screen to boot from the USB. First, I see this screen that says boot device not found. Please install operating system to your hard disk. Then I use the escape key to get to the startup menu. Here it presents me a list of options associated with different function keys. I want to get to the boot devices, so I will hit the F9 key. And here as you can see, there are no devices in the boot option menu, even though I have my bootable USB device connected to this laptop. To solve this problem, from this window, press F10 to get to your BIOS setup utility page. And you will see a window like this. Then use your right arrow key to move to the System Configurations tab. Now move down to Boot Options and hit Enter. Then you will see a page like this one. Now move down to where it says Legacy Support. Here you will discover that your Legacy Support option is set to Disabled. And to be able to boot from a USB device on startup, you want to set this option to Enabled. To do that, hit the Enter key to display a list of possible options. Then use your arrow key to move to Enable and select Yes in the dialog box and then hit Enter. Then using your arrow key, go down to your USB device under the UEFI boot order. Here in my case is the USB diskette on key stroke USB hard disk. Now use the required function key to move the USB device to the top of the boot order. Here I will be using the F6 key. So I will hit the F6 key until my USB device is on top of the UEFI boot order. Then I will use the F10 key to save and exit. Then hit yes on this dialog box. Now you may see a DOS page like this asking you to enter a certain code and hit the enter key to complete the process. Here I will enter this 8242 and then hit the enter key to complete the process. As soon as I do that, my laptop starts loading the Windows installation files, which I have in my flash stick. And from there, I will continue with the normal Windows installation process. And that completes the session. If you have any questions regarding the procedures in this video, please post in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.